This video will take you through the basics of installing and running the Minimax ME25 Edge Bander. First install the tape reel holder. Make sure you insert the alignment pins into their respective holes. Install the bolts and tighten them down. Remove one roller to install the carousel, which is guided by the grooves in each roller. Loosen this knob counterclockwise until it won't turn any further. This frees the oscillating glue spreader so that it applies glue to the edge of a panel. Next install the infeed table. The spacers need to stay in place so carefully position the table while inserting the screws. Loosely at first and then once all four are in place tighten them down. Repeat that process for the outfeed table. The steel fence is the only part of the machine that is protected with cosmoline and needs to be cleaned with a solvent. You will see the holes in the fence that correspond to these pins. These pins are spring-loaded and may require a little muscle to install. Backing off the fence position indicator bolt may help. Now it's time to hook up power and air. You will want about 7 to 8 bar of shop air pressure hooked to the onboard regulator, which is set to 6.5 bar. If the pressure falls below 4 bar, the machine will not start. Turn on the main power switch. This edge bander uses standard EVA glue. This is Joe Watt brand, 280 series natural color. Other brands and colors are available. Now let's apply some edges. Measure your panel and adjust the unit's feeder height. To do this, first loosen the locking bolt on the leading end of the feeder, then adjust the height by turning the crank at the other end until the digital readout matches your panel's thickness. Then tighten the leading bolt again. Set your trim cutters, scrapers, end cutter, and fence to the 3mm setting since we will use 3mm PVC for the first test cuts. To load the tape, loosen and lift the height limiters and feed the tape into the chute. Set both limiters so there is approximately half a millimeter of play. Position the leading end of the tape just at the initial shears. And then you want to double check the pressure rollers to make sure they are set to the three millimeter or less line. Turn on the main control panel and the glue pot will start to heat up. 
Then select the stations you want involved in the processes. Once the glue gets to the right temperature, you can turn on the stations and the feeder. Very nice. Now let's switch to wood tape, which is usually about a half a millimeter or so. Set all the units to 0.5, and for running wood tape, you don't need to turn on the buffing station. Excellent. Now let's switch to shop cut laminate strips and see how that works. The strip feeder can handle three to four strips at a time. There you have it. The ME25 is a very versatile, complete, and compact edge bander for the small shop looking to step up their game, their efficiency, and to save valuable man hours when it comes to banding their edges. Thank you. <laughs>